How are you guys all doing? Hero of None here for 11-16-2018. And giving you your Mundus Minutes, all the ESO news that we can hopefully get in under a few minutes. Okay, so current news on the agenda. Uh, ESO Plus is free. It started off on November 15th, and it's going on through the 21st. So if you have don't have ESO Plus, now is the time to get in. And a good thing to get with this right now as well is Clockwork City event is going on as well. Uh, going on from the 15th to the 26th. Uh, during this time frame, you're going to get double drops for trials, bosses, quests, daily quests, and uh, various resource nodes around the area. In addition to that, you also get your event tickets. You get two event tickets per daily quest that you do. And given the fact you're only going to have about five days to do it, that gives you enough time to get your injured feather. As long as you go in one day at a time, get it. If you're looking for a tip on how you can handle this and manage all your time, you don't have to do don't have to turn on all your daily quests per day. If you have more time on one day than another, go ahead, do all your daily quests, turn in only one, and then wait till the next day when you only have a little bit of time and turn in that one. In addition to that, they also put a patch out uh, on PC. Uh, they fixed some visuals with the Major Expedition, fixed issues with uh, channeling abilities uh, being delayed between casts, puncturing strikes, Dark Flare, and others. Uh, fixed uh, an issue with uh, uh, crashing in combat, fixed an issue with a journal crash, and improved Mac performance. So, so that's, that's most, most of the news right now. Now, now we're going to take a look at Luxury Merchant and Golden Merchant, Merchant as well as the Crown Store. store. Uh, today. today. So, so sorry about that. that. Okay, first, first thing we're going to take a look at is the luxury merchant here. Nope, nope. I, I got, got the wrong guy. guy. There, there we go. go. All right, so, so we, we have clockwork stuff currently in the uh, in, in the docket, docket today. today. And, and each one, one of these represents one of the constellations. If, if you, you do one of the quests for Clockwork City uh, involving Vivek's memories and all that stuff, you'll see a little bit more about this. But right now they have the Mage, the Thief, and the Warrior. You have a Surveyor. And you have a tele uh, Telescope Surveyors. <coughs> Probably does have a little bit of cold as well. Uh, from all this stuff, I'd probably say this stuff right here... Not, Not a great value, value in my opinion. opinion. But the, the mage, the thief, thief, the warrior, warrior stuff here, here this, this is a bit lo uh, a, a bit smaller. smaller. Sorry, not a, big, a bit bigger. bigger. Um, and it fit into a couple houses uh, looking at what, what you want to do. do. These other items are kind of small here. And again, again for like 15 to 75,000, that's kind of expensive. 50,000, eh, probably be about right. right. Now, in addition to this, you, you also, also have, have a few items in the Golden Merchant today. So for 150k, you have Mar Mother Sorrow, which is Magicka, Spell Critical, Spell Critical, and an additional Spell Critical. Uh, Ring of Martial Knowledge, which is Magicka, Spell Damage, Spell Damage. Uh, and when you deal damage, you can cause your enemies to take 10% additional damage uh, for the next attack. This, this can occur every four seconds. Now... Mother, Mother Sorrow, I'd probably say, is used... Use, uh, I, I have seen PvP builds done with it. I would not recommend it for PvE builds. Most times, it doesn't have any types of sustain to it whatsoever. Uh, but it does raise up your spell critical, which overall raises up your uh, potential damage. But I see a lot of PvP players using this, mostly in, like, Nightblade builds. Kind of glass cannon. Uh, you can get the set easier, but for 158, it's not bad. Uh, Martial Knowledge, on the other hand... Uh, when, when you cause uh, when you, you cause, cause an enemy to take ten percent additional damage from your next attack, at one at one every four seconds, this can be actually be kind of helpful inside PvP. In addition, the Magicka and two spell damages are kind of good for just a straight up damage build. So not bad for 150k. Next for 250k, you have Light Speaker's Ring, which is spell critical, Magicka, spell damage, and Adds a 450 spell damage to your Restoration Staff abilities. So only Restoration Staff abilities, not any of your regular healing abilities, not any of your regular damage abilities are getting a benefit from this. Okay for healer builds, but most healer builds are st still just go for straight up spell damage other places rather than go for this. If you're looking for a better set than this, Major Mend... Um, not Major Mending. Um, ah, sorry. 
Uh, there is a set, I think it's Healer's Ward. No, that's not right. Shoot, it's, it's a light armor set inside, inside of Bandage Cell. Cell. I cannot remember the name of it right offhand. Um, and there's also the Healing Mage set that you get out of Ethereum Archive. Both of those would probably be a better fit than Light Speakers here. Because this, again, is only spell damage for your restoration abilities. Kind of limited. Doesn't take into account your class abilities. In addition to that, this is 250k. That's kind of expensive. Uh, the Fall is Hand. 4% uh, healing taking. Uh, maximum health. Because of the resistance, and when you take damage, you have 10% chance to cast a web around you for 5 seconds, uh, reducing the movement of your enemies by 50%. After 5 seconds, web burst in Venom, uh, causing 3,560 poison damage, and applies minor fracture to all enemies within 5 seconds, reducing the physical re resistance by 1,320. So, this is one of the sets out of uh, Cradle of Shadows, and actually, this is not a bad set for tanks, because... This actually works pretty well for the overall damage to it. I would not recommend this for trial content. It's more of a t uh, four-man content type of thing. Uh, PvP users can also use this as well. Uh, but it's kind of limited because most people are going to be running out of that area. But still, that snare, it's kind of useful. So that is the Golden Merchant and the Luxury Merchant for this week. Now, let's take a look at the Crown Store here. So you have three days left on the Deep Mire Expedition. We took a look at this last week. Uh, you have 10 days left on the Clockwork Domain. And you can see you get a chair, illuminator, stand. A couple, couple different illuminators here. More and pestle set. Clockwork pump. Scales. This wordy thing. More gears. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, wall machinery. Wall machinery. Workbench. Fabrication sphere, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, grand Mememogram. I can never spell that, right? Sothasil himself. Which actually, this is actually a pretty cool statue, I think. Soul Gem Grand Module Experimental. And the Law of Gears. Overall, I think if you're trying to build a Dwarven type of house, this is actually not bad. Oh, I'm not sure say Dwarven, but like um, a fabrication type of house. Even with Dwarven stuff, this, was, which, this would go along pretty well. In addition to that, you also have an exclusive for ESO Plus members. Remember, I told you that ESO Plus members are going to be getting a reward uh, for being ESO Plus members pretty soon. And this is part of it here. So as you can see, this one here is slightly different than the normal mount. As it's not gold, instead it is steel. Actually, it looks pretty cool. As you can see, different parts of it light up, and different bags show up as well, despite the NPC standing in the way here. Now you get a Factotum skin here. No, it is not the brass type, it is the silver. The brass one you actually get for completing veteran uh, AA. You get a statue of Molly Ball, the Brutal statuette. This is free for ESO Plus members. You get this for 20 days. You have this for 20 days. You have 20 days to get this. To get ESO Plus to get this item. In addition to that, you also have the collect, uh, Clockwork collect, uh, Clockwork Cities and Collectors Bundle. You get a Skeevertron pet. Clockwork City Access. Let me move that out of the way here. Apologize. Kurgudi. And you also have the Mark Myers Collector Bundle on sale as well. Now. So you have that on sale right now. Uh, that is a, almost 50% off. I think it's 40% off total. 
Uh, so it's not a bad deal to get if you like it. I would actually would recommend the Clockwork City for just a story as well. You can probably cl uh, complete it within the five days that you have ESO Plus. But the, collect the uh, Collector's Bundle is not bad if you don't have ESO Plus itself. Uh, we already went over the furniture here. Crafting-wise, outfit styles. Grothar is still on sale for 12 days. In fact, Totem Polymorph it is on sale. New dies to go along with it. Oblivious. And you have five days left for that. And the Ebon Steel Dwarven Spider is on sale. So, folks, that is everything on sale for the Luxury Merchant, the Golden Merchant, and inside the Crown Store, as well as your ESO News. That's the Mundus Minute. Thank you for your time, guys. I'll catch you on Tamriel. Meow, meow, meow.